a classic TV darling, a 1960s singing legend, an American military icon, a beloved sitcom star, and Elvis Presley's drummer. These are the stories of the lives we lost in October 2021. Actress Cynthia Harris was best known for her recurring role on Mad About You, playing the mother of Paul Reiser's character. She returned for the show's 2019 reboot. She also starred in the 1978 TV miniseries Edward and Mrs. Simpson and appeared on Broadway. Harris died October 3rd at the age of 87. Dion Estes was a musician and singer who played bass for Wham and George Michael. His music can be heard on hit singles including Careless Whisper and Faith. He also had a solo hit in 1989, Heaven Help Me, on which George Michael sang backing vocals. Estes died October 11th at the age of 65. Drummer Ronnie Tutt performed and recorded with some of the superstars of the 1960s and 70s. He was a founding member of Elvis Presley's TCB band, and he toured with the Jerry Garcia band. He also played drums for Neil Diamond, The Carpenters, Johnny Cash, and many more. Tut died October 16th of natural causes at the age of 83. Lizzie Bravo was a Beatles fan who was in the right place at the right time to sing backing vocals for one of their songs. She was waiting for autographs outside Abbey Road when the band needed a female voice on Across the Universe. The version she recorded wasn't included on Let It Be, but it was later released on rarities and compilation albums. Bravo died October 4th of heart complications at the age of 70. Jerry Remy was the second baseman for the California Angels and Boston Red Sox in the 1970s and 80s. He went on to a long career as a color commentator for the Red Sox. In his many years with the team, Remy became a fan favorite and beloved local figure. He died October 30th of lung cancer at the age of 68. Ray Fossey was a Major League Baseball catcher who helped the Oakland A's to two World Series victories. He was notoriously injured in the 1970 All-Star Game when Pete Rose collided with him at home plate. In later years, he was a color commentator for the A's. Fossey died October 13th of cancer at the age of 74. Chris Harris was a voice actor best known for his work on the Dragon Ball series. He was the voice of the villain Frieza in English dubs of the anime favorite. Harris also did voice work on anime including Gantz, Black Butler, and Fairy Tale. He died October 18th after long-term health complications at the age of 56. Jack Angel was a voice actor whose voice could be heard in dozens of beloved cartoons. On TV, he provided voices for shows including Super Friends, Transformers, The Smurfs, and Spider-Man. He also worked in movies, voicing characters in animated films such as Aladdin, Spirited Away, Monsters, Inc., and many more. Angel died October 19th at the age of 90. Actor Granville Adams was best known for his role on HBO's prison drama, Oz, playing inmate Zahir Arif. He also had a recurring role as Officer Jeff Westby on Homicide, Life on the Street. Adams died October 10th of cancer at the age of 58. Julie Redding was an actress best known for the 1960 horror film, Tormented. She played a young woman who tragically dies and comes back to haunt her ex-boyfriend. Redding was also known for TV appearances on The Big Valley and Sea Hunt. She died September 16th at the age of 85. Her death was announced in October. Mort Saul was a stand-up comedian whose fame was at its height in the 1950s and 60s. In his act, he would chat with the audience about current events, cutting-edge stuff at the time. Thanks, thanks for your patience. <laughs> That's what I say to my wife all the time. You just hang on. It's so pay up. Saul's work helped change the face of comedy and influenced generations of comedians. He died October 26th at the age of 94. 
Alan Coulter was the announcer for Late Show with David Letterman. A part of the show for 20 years, he was known for participating in funny sketches like Alan Coulter's Celebrity Interview. He was also a commercial voiceover artist, and he announced for game shows, including the $25,000 Pyramid. Coulter died October 4th at the age of 78. Gary Paulson was an author known for books including Hatchet, a classic tale of wilderness survival for young adults. His many adventure stories inspired a love of reading in generations of reluctant readers. Paulson died suddenly October 13th at the age of 82. Actor James Michael Tyler was best known for his role in Friends. He played Gunther, the barista at the coffee shop hangout Central Perk. My most memorable moment on the Central Perk set was probably the final scene that we shot in Central Perk. Gunther, you know, expresses his unrequited love of 10 years, so at least he finally got to say that he loved her. And uh, it was really emotional, just the casting crew, everybody was crying. Uh, it was uh, really unforgettable. He made appearances on Just Shoot Me and Scrubs, as well as returning for the 2021 Friends reunion special. Tyler died October 24th of prostate cancer at the age of 59. Joanna Cameron was an actress best known for starring in The Secrets of Isis, a Saturday morning superhero show in the 70s. Cameron also appeared in the detective show Columbo and in movies including How to Commit Marriage. She died October 15th of complications of a stroke at the age of 73. Sean McElmore was a gospel singer who led the group New Image. Their 1997 album, Wait on Him, was a popular success. McElmore was also an actor who appeared in the 1988 movie, Colors. He died October 9th after an illness at the age of 54. Rose Lee Mafis was a country singer and guitarist. She and her husband, Joe Mafis were known as Mr. and Mrs. Country Music. In later years, she worked on costumes at Opperland and was a greeter at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Mafis died October 26th at the age of 98. Eddie Robinson was the oldest living former Major League Baseball player. He helped the Cleveland Indians to a World Series win in 1948. He also played for the Yankees and the White Sox, and after his retirement, he was general manager for the Texas Rangers. Robinson died October 4th at the age of 100. Ruthie Thompson was a Disney legend and one of the last living links to the company's early days. She worked in animation on the first feature-length cartoon, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. She stayed with Disney for decades, and her handiwork can be seen on animated films, including Dumbo, Sleeping Beauty, and The Rescuers. Thompson died October 10th at the age of 111. Imani, 22, was a rising star of R&B, known for singles including Feelings and Heartbreak Hotel. She collaborated with rapper Trippy Red on his mixtape, A Love Letter to You 3, singing two songs. Imani, 22, died October 11th after an accident at the age of 22. Jay Black was the lead singer for Jay and the Americans, whose hits in the 1960s included Come a Little Bit Closer and This Magic Moment. They were the opening band for the Beatles' first U.S. concert. Black was known for his powerful operatic voice, which was showcased in the 1965 single, Cara Mia. He died October 22nd of pneumonia at the age of 82. Colin Powell was a four-star U.S. Army general who oversaw Operation Desert Storm as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He was also National Security Advisor under President Ronald Reagan, and he became the first black Secretary of State when he was appointed to the position by President George W. Bush. Powell was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by two different presidents. He died October 18th of complications of COVID-19 at the age of 84. Actress Betty Lynn was best known for playing Thelma Lou, Barney Fife's girlfriend on The Andy Griffith Show. As Barney often said, 
Thelma Lou, you're the cats. She appeared in the 1986 TV movie Return to Mayberry, in which Barney and Thelma Lou were married. She also had roles in such TV shows as My Three Sons and Matlock. On the big screen, Lynn was in movies, including June Bride and Cheaper by the Dozen. She died October 16th after a brief illness at the age of 95. Actor Peter Scolari was a star of 1980s TV sitcoms, beginning when he starred alongside Tom Hanks in Boozum Buddies. He went on to star in Newhart as yuppie TV producer Michael Harris. He also had notable roles in the TV adaptation of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, as well as Gotham and Evil. Scolari won an Emmy for his performance in the HBO series Girls. He died October 22nd of cancer at the age of 66. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.